talking about uh, our feature. Before that, I'd like to introduce myself. I am Pooja. I'm the PM on the Viva Connections platform team. I've been working on multiple platform features where I've released out of the box cards, li document library, sites, files, etc. whatever you see on the uh, dashboard. And then we have also worked on some platform features like data visualization components, search, text box, et cetera. I have with me Mohan today, who is the person who has made the idea of uh, my ideas into reality, and he will be taking us through the demo for Viva Connections dashboard. Okay, so moving on to the feature, uh, as Visa has already um, talked about the feature, it's about taking the value of Viva Connections dashboard and extending it beyond Viva Connections to any other site, communication site or team site. So we heard from all of you that with the value of Viva Connections just constrained with the uh, dashboard, which is limited to uh, connections or home site. Now we will be taking this uh, dashboard web part to other sites as well. And this will enable you to reuse your cards. And once the card is created, it can be hosted on multiple sites. Now, why do we want to do this? We have heard like there is one corporate site, which is the organization site, and they have their own dashboard. But with, within the teams also, there is a need for their individual dashboard. Suppose you have a HR team or you have your IT help desk. They also want to create their own dashboards. So with this feature, we want to enable individual teams within the organization to have their own dashboards. So now Mohan will show you how this can be done with the same what we had in the uh, connections and can be leveraged on any site to create the dashboard. Over to you, Mohan. Thank you. Hi, folks. Uh, so my name is Mohan. Uh, I'm working on the Viva Connections uh, platform team. Uh, I have been uh, working on many uh, platform features like uh, text import, search, database, so on and so forth. And now it's dashboard on sites. Thanks, Pooja. So uh, for today's uh, uh, demo, uh, let's meet Alex, a fictional character. Alex Weber is responsible for the IT help desk of his company. He wants to make the home page of uh, his IT help desk, which is tech web in this case, uh, very interactive. He wants to enable some action oriented components in site pages, but uh, he doesn't have uh, the right tools. Just as he's wondering, he comes across this new feature in SharePoint, which is dashboard on sites. That is exactly what he needs. So what he does, he goes, he goes ahead to the settings gear in the uh, SharePoint site now, and he clicks on manage dashboard. Over here, he's able to create a new dashboard for this particular site. Hmm, what can I do with this dashboard now? Um, since my site is uh, related to uh, ease and ideal desk, let me see if I can add a remote assist card. That is very great. Now, uh, there are a lot of events that are happening, uh, uh, which we are conducting. My team is conducting all around the company. So let me see if I can add an events card. Yes. Oh, this is already picking up all the events that are there. Oh, that's great. Next, uh, a lot of people actually come across, uh, uh, come to us with a lot of fundamental basic questions. So how do we address that? Um, we have a playlist card. Let's see if we can use that. We have a stream playlist card. And he has already set up some DIY playlist. Do it yourself. And... Boy, love, that's already, that's added to the dashboard. Hmm. Next, the tech web or the ID help disk is struggling with a lot of uh, tickets every month. So let's show our customers how much effort we are putting into them. He adds a monthly ticket card, which is a graph, a graph based card, which, is, which can visually show uh, what kind of, uh, what are the tickets inflow uh, into uh, IT help desk this month. Lastly, he also wants to add some uh, documents for reference for anyone uh, who wants who is interested. So he adds a folder card. In the folder card, he selects the current site 
and all the documents are already populated. Okay, now Alex publishes the dashboard. And the dashboard is published. Now, what should he do? Alex goes to the home page. Alex sees, let me make this home page much more interactive. Let me add a new section. Let me add our new dashboard web part. Wow. He looks at all of this. Mm, he looks at the settings. He sees five cards, probably four cards are sufficient. Let me just, no, five cards are good. Alex publishes the page. And voila, he has a dashboard on the tech website for his company. Now his boss is happy. Now, how does anyone use it? So whenever someone loads this page, they can click on any of the cards, which opens a quick view and the user can click on any of these and access them. For example, you have a DIY playlist. Oh, all the, all the videos are over there. All the documents are over here and everyone is happy. Tomorrow, if Alex wants to change the, the cards or edit them, he can go back to the settings, go back to the manage dashboard, click on edit and change the dashboard configuration. And that's all. So that's it from my side for the demo today. I hand it over back to uh, Pooja. So as you can see here, we are giving the flexibility of uh, creating their own dashboards. The individual teams can have their custom dashboard as per their needs, what they work on day to day. It could be anything from events, folders, or any other thing which they need. It could be some of your uh, custom links that we want to have it for the team. And those can be brought up here as part of this dashboard. Now with this, I would like to share what we are going to do next. Uh, we are uh, going for a private preview of this feature soon, sometime in the first week of May. And by the end of May is when we are trying to GA it to all of you. We would love to hear from you if you like this feature or you want something else in this feature. We are waiting to hear from you. Please drop in your comments and this channel or share it with Vesa. We would love to hear. Thank you.